Hi, my name is Dave Carwell. In this video, we're going to go through the process of painting a diffuse skin channel. We're going to begin with our model and switch to a more diffuse texture. Note that I've got UVs already prepared for this model. So we're going to change the diffuse shading color to a more something closer to our base skin tone because we're going to be painting over this shader. sure our fall off is set properly and I've already loaded in a few stencils of photos that I've downloaded from 3DSK. I'm just going to choose a particular uh, photo here, very high resolution, and I've got my projection brush selected and I'm navigating with the stencil using the uh, S hotkey. Actually if we go into the, uh, you can see here in the perspective, under the perspective camera, I've got the options for the stencil where I can control things like the uh, opacity of the stencil. So again, I'm back in the 3D viewport here. We're just going to align it using the S hotkey and the left mouse button and just get it set up somewhere we don't have to be very neat here at this part of the process we're just trying to establish some basic skin tones when I click the mesh because there's no texture map assigned Mudbox will ask me to create a new texture we're gonna create a 4k texture map here it's 4096 by 4096 pixels and just go ahead and brush the surface Just move down to the neck and also take note that because I have symmetry turned on for the brush the paint is also being projected onto the other side of the mesh as well even though the UVs are not overlapping here so that's going to save you lots of time in, the, in actually painting uh, the channels that you're, you're working on let's go ahead and adjust this typically you know this could be a process that you do in 2D, perhaps in Photoshop, by cutting and pasting pieces of the photos. You're going to find that this particular approach is um, a lot quicker uh, method um, than sort of cut and paste in 2D. I'm just going to continue on and go ahead and break, brush in a uh, base coat for the hair. Now, in this demo, in this video, I'm going to be, you know, we're pretty much painting a f something that's fully symmetrical. Um, of course, on, on your own time, I would recommend that you um, you do things that are, um, have got a nice asymmetrical feel to them. Although, you know, depending on, on the use case for the texture, um, you may be forced to uh, um, have a uh, symmetrical texture in the end. You can see how easy it is just hovering the stencil over the area and then brushing in the, the color. And go ahead and add in some details in the neck here. And if I right mouse button in the empty area of the screen, I can turn on the flat lighting. And this is going to help me to see the, uh, the pixels without any sort of um, shading on them, just to get a feel of the true colors that I actually have in the map. Paint on some details at this stage. And now I'll just load in another texture. I'm just going to sort of use tones from the image 
to uh, you know set up the, the general colors for this uh, for the chest of this character. Um, you know, a lot of times the idea here with this particular exercise is that you know you, you, we've we've begun with a model that we don't really have specific photo reference for. So more of a, a fantasy type character. So your photos are not going to always line up, but you can still use them or areas areas from the photos to to uh, add a more realistic um, color and texture to the surface here. Let's go even brushing here on the arm and continue on with some details. Load up a close up of the sort of chest uh, area. And uh, just, you know, simply just brush that on. It's that simple. And because we've got the X symmetry on, um, we get the texture on the other side for free as well. At this point, we're going to switch to the standard paintbrush. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the first uh, stamp that's in the tray there. Make sure I've got some randomization on. And we're going to be sampling a color directly from the existing texture that we've applied to the surface. And we're going to keep, we're going to sort of build up the skin tones and layers here. So I was just going to pick using the eyedropper and I'm going to brush in a circular motion with this, uh, this stamp to, to apply this sort of soft breakup on the skin. You may not even be able to see what I'm doing here in the, uh, once the video has been compressed, but uh, the idea is to go ahead and sample colors from the existing photos that you've uh, projected on the surface and build up the skin in layers in order to and, and have it in order to fill in areas that you don't have photo reference for um, is the idea with this approach. So after that we should have a general you know a nice coloration to the skin and we can begin to preview uh, the skin texture under different lighting conditions. So in, in preparation for doing a turntable, we're going to add a bump um, channel to this uh, rendering. So I'm just going to create a, a, uh, a, a simple texture for, to establish the bump channel. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate my, my original color channel. And then I'm going to drag and drop that down into the bump channel. And it doesn't look like it's strong enough here, so we're going to go into the uh, the shader settings, and I've sort of inverted the bump uh, material by putting in a negative value. So I'm just type in negative two, and there you can see the uh, the bump appearing from the uh, that's been given to us directly from the color channel. Just as a starting point, this is is not as decent, and uh, you can work with this, you know, and create yourself a decent turntable from this. Now what I've, what I've done, if you notice that this mesh wasn't particularly detailed, and so what I like to do sometimes is to, uh, you know, after I've painted my color maps, to go back in and, and sort of uh, add extra detail along the surface in various areas to sort of enhance the, um, the texture and the overall feel of the model. So after we've added in some details, we're going to go ahead and... and, and uh, create a turntable for this model. So using the new uh, turntable feature we can just uh, go ahead and create a movie. And it doesn't take long here. And be able to play back the demo. Thank you.